Beyond any innovation, there are brains, that is, inventors' knowledge. But inventors are not magically born with that knowledge. Instead, they acquire it. And understanding this human capital accumulation and diffusion is really important for innovation. So one way in which we acquire this knowledge is by interacting with others, especially with people who are more knowledgeable than us. Hence the title, Dancing with the Stars. In my research, I look at how innovation is produced at the very fine-grained research team level, using inventor knowledge as an input, and how this knowledge is actually acquired and diffused through interacting with others. And we ask basically, how important are those interactions with others uh, for innovation and hence economic growth? We approach these questions in three ways, theoretically, empirically, and quantitatively. On the theoretical side, we built a model of innovation where research teams produce inventions using inventor knowledge as an input. On the empirical side, we use new data from the European Patent Office, which contains all the patent applications filed there since 1975. And we turn this into an inventor level panel where we can track researchers over time. Then on the quantitative side, we can estimate the parameters of our model and the data, and then do policy analysis. What we find is that when an inventor interacts with other inventors who are better than him, he also becomes more knowledgeable and produces better subsequent innovation. So this interaction channel is very important and explains a large share of innovation and of growth. The other main finding is that there's a very nice interplay between access to external information and interactions. There's this nice virtuous cycle. When you think that others know more, you want to go out and learn from them. The main takeaway is that interactions are really important for innovation and growth, which means that when we consider different policies, we really need to think very carefully, are they going to hinder or foster these interactions? And the other main takeaway is that if you want to do your part, then probably you should ask a colleague now to go out for coffee and exchange ideas.